Hi, my name is Michael Trout, and I want to tell you a little bit about me because, you know, I've always been an outsider. I've always lived outside the box, and probably a lot of it because I've grown up all over the world. My father went to Annapolis, naval commander, and at eight, I was at prep school by myself, um, the only Yank in a school of 180 other students, and here's here's one of my classmates, Simon Boyfo, so I do know one famous person. On return to the United States when I was uh you know, uh, 16, I went to high school, graduated high boy in my class, and ultimately went to Boy State, where I started off as an engineer student because I thought I'd be an engineer, hated it because it was too rigid, ended up being a theater student. Well, this is where I really became an entrepreneur. When I launched the Southern Shakespeare Festival, I attended the Royal National Theater in London. I was the only undergraduate, actually one of two undergraduates in the United States to attend the program, and ultimately you know, with zero experience, I was able to launch an event that completely redefined Tallahassee. 30,000 people attend, and you can read all the articles here. Now, the thing is, the more important thing wasn't the fact that I did it. The more important thing is how did I do it, and why was I able to do it, and, and how could I do it without any any angel investors was the real question. That's bugged me for the last 15 years, and I've been thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. Well, one of the other things, another piece of the puzzle was, you know, raising money. Here's an organization that's raised $1.6 billion for a strategic uh, initiatives that are nonprofits. Why not do it for other strategic initiatives? And you know, I left them to do our first startup in 2000, which was a miserable failure. We did it by the book. We leveraged all our friends and family, and they lost out big time. So four years later, after bouncing around different jobs, I decided to move to Japan. When I came to Japan, I came as a teacher, and I spent the last year, six years, as a teacher. Um, you know, and ultimately, I, I relaunched Eduit. Eduit, though, as a as a as a vision for global learning, for e singularity, is what I call it. And uh, you know, there are 211, 2,111 days to e singularity, and I I mean to keep it. So, what is e singularity? Well, it's a uh, you know, it's it's a it's a prize now, which is part of Foundups Corp. And ultimately, Eduit led to um, to a friend of mine saying, hey, you got to do something. You do all these great talks and everything else, but you got to do an MVP. MVP? Yeah, minimal viable product. So Wikitube was the first MVP. We had the first streaming, the first continual play, the first um, playlist. Uh, here it is right here. It was an admin feature. We couldn't. I didn't have the coders to get it all done, but ultimately I tried to create a partnership or I tried to get on board. I mean, I tried to, well, I tried to knock down the door to YouTube and in four months, everything we had done was copied, whether if it was intentionally or whether it was just by accident, who knows. But the fact that they launched something called Lean Back, and I told the guy that everyone calls us the YouTube, the couch potato for YouTube, hmm, is kind of like coincidental. Well, anyway, one thing I did learn out of the experience um, after failing at being able to raise money in those four months, that I was a creator. And um, that changed everything it changed my focus 100% because I didn't know what I was and and knowing that I was a creator it made a lot of sense to me so I started focusing all my time on found ups and started creating a system to disrupt the disrupt the, uh, the, the the systemic problems that face the startup and in the process I started writing a book which as you can imagine for a dyslexic person is is not something that um, I'm having a lot of fun at doing, but it's a necessity. Well, what I do have fun is doing videos, and I've got over 600 videos, and now I'm, you know, I've started, I just launched Foundups TV last week, and uh, I plan to have two, three, four hundred videos up there to help folks with their Foundups. And I have pretty much everything out there documented as slide presentations on all the different components. You have to think of it, Foundups is a brand, right? Um, Found ups level up. I came up with a whole leveling system. I played Dungeons and Dragons. I like levels. You know, level seven, you can take care of a hill giant. It seemed made sense to me, right? Um, LinkedIn is a valuable tool. I launched OIF on LinkedIn. Um, from LinkedIn, I raised about 50,000 in investments and stuff, as you can see. Um, I, you know, found up groups are very large, unlike uh, startup groups. Um, and uh, even one of my big kudos is here's uh, an investor. It says, I've c I'm committed to. Uh, you know, for investing um, money, right, to the 10,000 investment contingent on agreement on terms, right? So ultimately, um, I got one of the top investors, and this guy is, you know, is, is pretty much the Microsoft of Home Assassin Springs. And uh, I secured someone to help do our, our, our app development. Anyway, that's, that's me. I hope that helps, and I uh, hope that kind of gives you an idea of who I am and what I've accomplished and where I'm headed.